action has now shifted at the NCB office where Riya Chakrabarti is being quizzed. But uh, the interrogation at the DRDO also continues. Mohit Bhatt is joining us from outside DRDO guest house. Let's go across to him. Mohit, we're now being told that Shruti Modi has just left the DRDO guest house and Jaya Saha, the talent manager, is being questioned at this point in time. Well, yes, uh, since morning, uh, Swati, there has been continuous movement of CBI officials and people have, who have been called in by the CBI for the interrogation at this particular guest house, which has been converted into a CBI camp office. Now, in morning, we saw that Neeraj came over here, but he also left. Uh, Shruti Modi also came in the morning and she also left. Uh, but Jaya Saha, what we are getting to know, is still inside. And she was the one that who, uh, we, uh, the charts we exposed in which she clearly said that to Riya Chakrabarti that she need to give some liquid to... Uh, uh, Sushant Singh Rajput and that will give him some relief. So regarding that thing, uh, he, he has been questioned again and again and that is why it's very important that on one side we'll have NCB questioning Riya Chakrabarti, on other side we have Jaya Saha being questioned by the CBI. Now Jaya Saha would be specifically asked by the CBI and she has been rather asked earlier also what was her role in prescribing drugs to uh, Riya Chakrabarti. Jaya Saha has accepted the fact that yes, she has prescribed something to Riya Chakrabarti. What exactly was that? The inter interrogation will reveal. So it's it's a very important questioning that inside is going on because the focus is on the drug angle, the, the cartel, the nexus, that whether Sushant Singh Rajput was fed drugs without his knowledge and th did that lead to his mysterious death. So all these questions are being asked by the CBI to Jaya Saha. Neeraj also came here, he went and yesterday Meetu Singh, the sister of Sushant Singh Rajput was also here. Now okay. CBI is starting, they have been saying this, those who all, all at Sushant Singh Rajput. Mohit, stay just, with us, let's also get in a quick word from Kajal who's joining us from the Kila court. Uh, uh, Kajal, uh, uh, I believe Deepesh is being produced uh, today at the court as well. Uh, take us through what exactly is transpiring at the courts at the moment. Well, as of now, the lawyer of Dipesh has just entered the courtroom. Dipesh had been brought in around 20 minutes ago. Remember, it's Sunday, so it's a holiday court. And uh, perhaps uh, because there was a lot of ruckus uh, uh, yesterday, uh, the judge has decided not to allow the media inside. So no one is uh, allowed to hear what is going on there in the courtroom. Uh, but we are being told that uh, the lawyer of Dipesh has gone inside. We just saw him go inside. He has also started his arguments. The uh, prosecutor uh, for the uh, uh, narcotics uh, control bureau already was inside and he had also started uh, reading out the remand note uh, of course uh, the various uh, aspects that he had confessed to uh, would be uh, forming uh, the basis of the right. case the remand note of the narcotics control bureau right kajal and mohit stay on with us we also have uh, mr gupta and shahzad punawala on the broadcast let me quickly go across to vikas gupta vikas gupta uh, you know when the mumbai police's investigation is questioned uh, the accusation is that uh, there is a campaign running against the agadi government or a campaign against uh, the Mumbai police. There's also an attempt to gag the media. When the WhatsApp chat started, uh, uh, you know, uh, coming to the fore and we started accessing those chats, it was only then that Riya Chakrabarti said, Madhav, that Sushant was consuming drugs. It wasn't her. That's when, uh, you know, the entire controversy really started based on the WhatsApp chats. Uh, two quick points, Swati. One is that uh, ever since the transfer petition came before the Supreme Court, I had always supported a CBI inquiry so that, in all fairness, if uh, people have apprehensions in their mind, the family had apprehension, it should be sorted out and a fair and uh, free investigation led by CBI should be done. So, as, uh, I, uh, Secondly, what I objected to was that when the investigating agencies are investigating a matter, they should not selectively leak chats to selective media channels. They should keep it to themselves because it gives an advantage or opportunity to the accused to prepare his defense. So in a way, I'm supporting CB and um, ED that w when you had all these uh, chats in your possession, why did you the agency, sir? From Ria camp. Yes. What about no, no. the selective le leaks from Camp Ria? No, no. Trying, to portray, yes. trying to portray the Swati, family in a bad light. Swati, the drug chats which you had procured, it, it was leaked by ED, in all fairness. So please no, be so honest to accept team, that. Ria, sir? And, what about no, no. Ria's team? They, they, it's okay if they leak out uh, a, a section of uh, WhatsApp conversations? Bada, there, there's a difference, distinction. If the family of Sushant was uh, selectively leaking WhatsApp chats, it is coming, the original source is them. We are talking about the family Whatever. of Riya, sir. We are yes, talking about I'm, Riya's I'm, family. I'm, I'm, or Riya's team and her lawyers. Can I come in, please? I'm coming. I'm coming to that. Can I also please come allow in? me to what yes, I'm saying, and then uh, if it's from the family of Riya, it's okay. But uh, coming from it's investigating okay. agencies, 
coming from investigating the agency is not true. I can make my point for 30 yeah, seconds. Okay, okay, yeah, Shazad, make, make your point. Five minute point. platform. I'm giving 30 seconds to respond. Yeah. Take five minutes. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, Mumbai Police has. First of all, Mumbai Police had submitted the statements of certain family members to the Supreme Court in a sealed cover. Those found their way in a particular newspaper and to particular journalists so that a narrative of suicide theory could be built. That wasn't condemned or criticized by those who are now criticizing these WhatsApp chat streaks. Let me complete Gupta. A second point that I'm trying to make is that today not only Ria has to face the tough questions, but we have to ask that the world's best police, the Scotland Yard of India, why weren't they able to find out this entire drug cartel, drug nexus that Times now could unearth happening under their nose? Why didn't they question this? Why did the NCB have to get into it? And now whoever's questioning this drug link or the Bollywood drug Aghadi, they are being abused? What is the kind of language that is being used by the Home Minister of Maharashtra and by the Shiv Sena MP against Kangana Ranaut and Navika Kumar and all of these people? And uh, you come here and you cry victim card for Riyadh Chakravarti. Who's crying victim card? You know, don't for forget Pitani's email that found Mr. a mention in Riyadh's petition. Shahzad, Pitani's email to Mumbai have, police that, to that finds a mention in uh, Riyadh's petition. Legally, that's it. Shahzad. Exactly. And that is, that is fine. Their media trial is very selective. Their media trial is only restricted to, oh, don't say anything about Riya and a drug cartel, but you can abuse Sushant. You can say that his father had two wives. You can say that his family had no good relations. You can say Sushant was crazy and bipolar. You can say Sushant is a chota mota star. You can give Riya a platform and she can say, I never took drugs, but the entire drug cartel is out. This is not media trial. But media trial is when Times now does the work what Mumbai police should have done. That is media trial. Well, that's and why, that's why, that's why we will Gupta. continue to report on selected. the story, Shahzad. We will continue to bring truth, all these developments and whatever uh, information, etc. as far as the investigation is concerned, we'll be keeping our viewers ahead. I'd like to thank both of you, Shahzad Punawala as well as Vikas Gupta for joining us on this broadcast. 